Howdy howdy y'all. Today I'm solving another Sudoku. This time, for the first time in a while, it's actually not a Fog of War one, so surprise. Uh, yeah, so let's see, with that being said, we'll just get right into it. Uh, let's see, so there's standard Sudoku rules, there's going to be some clones on the grid, and then we have thermometer arrow, both of which I recognize, lockout line, which I don't recognize actually, digits in the diamonds of a lockout line must differ by at least four, and none of the digits can be equal to, or oh, I do recognize that actually, okay. And then we have German Whisper, Renban, and Tropic, all of which I recognize. Ten line, uh, ten line, which means for this line, essentially, you should be able to split this somewhere, and it sums up to ten. And yeah, here is the one, uh, whatever it's called, uh, lockout line. And, ooh, this is, I hadn't really looked at this beforehand, but this is actually an interesting clone, interesting clone uh, setup. So let's see, this, I'm just going to start with applying the logic that I know the best, which is thermometer. So that's going to force that, which means 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. But let's see, this is a German whisper line here, so, and since this digit has to be smaller than this digit, uh, this one here has to be high numbers, and this one here must be a low number, which means that I get... Uh, 3, 4 here, and a 7, 8, 9 here, which means this one can be simplified to 2, 3, and then 1, 2. And this line here is a Renban line, so there isn't really an issue with that. Uh, it just means these ones maximize out at 5, because if this was 2, 3, the max I could get is 4, 5. This one here is 1, 2, 3, because it can't be 4 since I would need two nines. And then this one here is 6, 7, 8, 9. And okay. Let's see, for this entropic line, then, uh, this one here, then, has to be a minimum of, uh, let's see, what, one, two, three, so this one here is a minimum of six, which, it's a shame that it wasn't a minimum of seven here, because if it was a minimum of seven, I could have done slightly more logic with it. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, this one actually can't go up to 5, because then I would need 5 and 4 here, which would break this. Therefore, it must max out at 4. And there must be a 4 in here. So now this one is actually a minimum of 1 plus 2 plus 4, which is 7, which is very helpful. Okay. And then this one here, then, uh, let's see, what's the largest this one could be? If, uh, hmm. If this is a 1-4 pair, then the largest this could be is 3 to bring it up to 8, because you can't have repeats in the same row. So this one might... yeah, this one maximizes out at 3, which means that from entropic lines, this one also maximizes out at 3. Can't be 1, because there needs to be, uh, for the lockout line, all the digits within here... Uh, actually, it could be equal to, so this can be a 1, because if this was also a 1. Uh, let's see. This one here, then, has to be 4, 5, or 6. And based on that, this one here has to be 1, 2, or 3 as well, because it needs to be at least as small as this. So I can get that. And, uh, let's see. This one here, or actually these are in the same box, so there can't be repeats, so I actually get uh, this. And this one here needs to be in between uh, these, so it is possible to be anywhere from 2 to 5. I have a 2-3 pair here, actually, so I get a 4 in both of these, which means I get a 9 here. And that means this one's a 5. So I get 6s there. And, okay. Uh, no 4 here, which is going to give me these 2 as being 4. Uh, okay. And is that all I can do at the moment? That might be all I can do at this second. Well, since I have a 5 here now, does that... Uh, okay, I have a 5 here, and 
I can't get 10 in one cell, so these three need to add up too. Uh, this might actually be an issue. I might have messed up somewhere in here, actually, just looking at it. Because, uh, tan line... Yeah, this tan line needs to be summed up into cells that add up to 10, so... Where did I make an error? That's a real question. Yeah, so far everything seems like it's uh, completely reasonable. Because this one can't be a anything higher than a 4 since I can't have a 5-4 pair here. And I'm guaranteed to have at least a 2 here, so... This one has to have a 4 in it. This one can't be higher than 4. So then these two have to be the same size. This one has to be larger. And it must be... Uh, this one has to be at least a 7, so this one is maxing out at 6. Uh, then we get a 2-3 pair here because I can't have... Right, because lockout line, I did the logic right. Oh! Oh, I, I completely messed up the lockout line. Hang on, let's undo a lot of this. Uh, so the lockout line logic was completely wrong. Essentially, these digits need to be outside of the bounds. So, like, since I have a 4, 5, or a 6 here, and I have a 1, 2, or a 3 here, uh, this number here has to either be... has to be bigger than uh, this number. Which means, yeah, I completely messed up that logic. That's what I get for not reading it. But completely after... even after saying I got it, but... okay. Uh, digits in the diamonds of the lockout line must differ by at least four, and none of the digits along the line can be equal to or between the digits in the diamonds. So if, let's see, uh, if this one, what's the smallest this one can be? If this is a five here, I can't have a one here because then this would be in between. If this is a six, I could only have a two here if this was a one. So this is either two, uh, if this is one, or Let's see, if I actually if I have a 6, this has to be a 2. If I have a 5, then this has to be a 9. And if I have a 4, this is an 8 or a 9. So I get 2, 8, 9. And, uh, let's see. And in general, this one is going to... I don't want to figure out what the square is yet, actually, thinking about it. Unless this is the point at which I have to. Uh, let's see. Hmm. This tan line here, is it possible for it to be just 1, 2, 3, 4? It is not. Therefore, it needs to be split into two groups that add up to 10, so this one here, then, must be 1, 2, or 8. And, uh, let's see. If it's an 8, this is a 2, in which case this is a 1. If this is a 2, this is an 8, in which case this one has to be a 4, and this one then is a 1. Actually, this is a 2, it breaks, right? Because I have 2, 8 here, 4 here, which means both of these have to be 3. So, uh, this one can't be 2, and that one then can't be 8. If I have a 1 here, then I get a 9 here, and then I have a 4 or 5 here. But either way, this one's just 2 or 3, so I get actually 4 here, and I get 5 here. So I get 5 in uh, the case where this is a 1, and when this is an 8, this is a 4. I can't... or wait. Uh, this is an 8, this is a 2, and this is a 6. So this one can't be a 4 anymore. Because 4, 3, 2, this has to be 1, but since this is 4, this has to be 9, and this also has to be 1. Okay. So now this one's 5 or 6. And I don't think I got any other significant deductions from that. Let's see. Now then, for this sum, it has to include the remaining one of 1, 2, 3, or 4. Can't be 4 for multiple reasons now. So this is 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, or 3, and then 7, 8, or 9. And I don't think I have a great way to figure out which one yet. Just thinking about it. Um, let's see. Because now I'm just trying to scan and find if there's any weird numbers number collisions I can find between stuff. I don't think there is, though. Um... Hmm. Uh, let's see. This digit here is the same as this 
uh, this digit here, which must be the same as this digit up here, because it can't be either of these. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anywhere else I can do the same kind of trick. Uh, let's see. This digit here has to be in one of these two squares. Although that's not as clear cut as this, so I'm not going to hold on to that yet. Or try and do anything with that yet. Uh, let's see. Hmm. If this is an 8, then I get a 2 here and a 6 here, and then I get a 1 here. And I get a 1 here, and since this is an 8, uh, does that do anything for me? Not really. Okay. Let's see. If this is an 8, then I get 3, 2, 1, because the 8 here uh, requires a 3. Or, hang on. Um, let's see. Like this. Right, because of the German whispers. 8, 3, 2, 1 means 1 here, so I actually can't have an 8 here specifically. Because it would break uh, this one 8 pair over here. Um, let's see. 2, if I have a 2 here, I get 3, 4, 9. I don't think this is going to help me at all, but then I get a 9 here, and I get a 5 here, and I get a 1 here, and then I get a 2 here. So, uh, let's see, that's one case. And instead, if I were to have an... Uh, I'm just going to keep track of the ones that logically matter, which is uh, pretty much all this stuff, actually. If I instead have a uh, two he uh, two eight pair here, then I get a one here, and uh, actually no, that's I would have to start by saying that this is a one, which doesn't tell me anything. Um, uh, doesn't really, but I did just see something else that is more helpful. Consider that these three digits all are different from this one, right? That means since the, this 3-4 is in the 1-3-4 group, it must also be the same as all of these, which tells me that this is now a 3 or a 4. For these two, which means I have 1 and 2 somewhere in this column. Uh, is there anywhere else I can... Oh yeah, this one here is that same digit again. Which means it's in one of these two squares. Over here it's in one of these three, and it's in one of these two. Uh, and then down here it's in one of these, which is not as helpful. I'm just going to uh, get rid of all of that. Hmm. Okay. And, um, let's see. Hmm. Uh, where do I want to go now, actually? That is the question. Uh, this digit here is in one of these two squares, I guess. Just gonna mark that for potentially later. Not sure how helpful it will be, but you never know. Um, let's see. If this digit here is a... Well, actually one of these two has to be a 1, right? So this one here can't be a 1, so it's a 2 or a 3. Um, okay. Let's see. And actually, thinking about it, this digit can't be the red digit anyways, because it's in the same uh, space as the red digit up there, so this one must be the red digit. So one of these two is red, one of these is red, and one of these is red. Okay. So this is either uh, three or four. Dep 
pending. And that means that this digit here, which I'm going to make green, it can't be any of these three, so it must be this digit, and this one, and this one. That means it's up here somewhere, and uh, let's see. Where else can I figure out where it goes? It's none of these, which means it has to be this one, because the one, two, three, four pair is maintained. So now I know this is a two or a three which means one of these two is green, and one of these three is green. Okay. <sighs> uh, I guess I'll get rid of the blue coloring now, because I think the one, two, threes, and fours are what's really going to get me places, so I'm just going to, uh, real quick, mark them everywhere I possibly can. So then this one here has to be yellow, because it can't be any of the other ones, so it must be a 1 or a 2, which means this one's a 1 or a 2, and is also yellow. And that means that one of these, uh, this one here has to be yellow, because there's already a yellow here. So, uh, one of these two is yellow. And I'm not sure if I can do anything with the blue ones actually looking at it. Uh, one of these two is blue, so one of these three is blue. I'm going to ditch the three group because I don't think it's super helpful at the moment, actually. Uh, there has to be a yellow one in here, right? Because the other three colors are already accounted for, so this is one, two, eight, nine, this is one, two, eight, nine, which tells me that there's also a yellow here, which means this one's yellow and this one's blue, so one of these two is blue. And I can get that marked. Okay. I actually know there's a yellow here, which tells me there's no yellow here, and there's no yellow here, so, uh, okay. That's, well, the yellow, the last one is down here, so that's at least one color completely filled in everywhere. And now this one could only be blue if it was not an, uh, actually one of these two has to be blue, right? Because I either have a one or a two, so I get one of these two is blue, one of these two is blue. And, uh, let me see, that means that blue is also one or two. So then I get three for all the greens and four for all the reds. And I can ditch that as well. Okay. Uh, that means that this is a nine because of the German Whisper, and this has to be an 8 also because of the German Whispers. So then I also get 9s over here, which is going to tell me all the yellows are 1s and all the blues are 2s. And I think I can get rid of most of the coloring. Because I can at least get rid of uh, all the stuff that's been figured out. And this one's a two as well. Okay. Um, uh, actually, we can just get rid of all the coloring. Because at this point, it makes more sense just to pencil mark in numbers. Uh, four is in one of these, threes up here. Okay. Now then, five, six, seven in this box. So that's uh, six, seven. That's five, six, seven. There's a six, seven there. I can mark the fives for this column. Down here I need 5, 6, 7, 9, so over here I have 5, 6, 7, 9, 6 there, and I get a 9 over here. Now this column here is 6, 7, 8, and okay, there we go. Now then, uh, this row is just 5, 6, 7, so I have 5, 7 here, 5, 6, 7 here. I just realized this is just solvable as a 9, because I already know all three of those. Over here I have a 5, 6, or a 7. Let's see... Uh, this row also needs 5, 6, and 7. Okay. This row also needs 5, 6, and 7, which means I now know the 5, 7s for this column. That means I need an 8 here, which is going to give me a 1, 4 location. Now I know these ones need 5, 6, and 7. One of these two has to be a 7, because there's already a 5, 6 there. So then for the remainder of this column, uh, it's just going to be 2, which... Uh, is there, I guess, and an 8 up here. And this one also needed to be a 2 probably for a minute. 
Uh, over here I have a 6, 7, or 8. Over here I have a 5, 6, 7, or 8, but I can't have an 8 here, so this one must be an 8, which is going to give me an 8 over there. And now I know these remaining ones are 4 and 5 which is not solvable, but that's going to give me a 7 here and a 7 up here. And I can get rid of a 7 there, I get a 7 here. Okay. I have a 5-6 pair here now, which means the remaining ones are 8 and 9, which is solvable. I can get rid of a 7 there that I forgot about, solve the 4-5 there, which is going to solve me a 4 over here. And from this, I should be able to get a very solid amount of the puzzle just solved. Uh, here's a 357, which, uh, let's see, actually, this column here is a 3-7 pair, 5 and 7 already in that row, so I can get the remainder of my 3s. Uh, this one has to be a 7, which is going to give me 5 down here, and let's see. Uh, this one here has to be a 6 because of the 2 there, and that's going to solve the rest of this area. And that actually might be the last thing I needed. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Another solid puzzle there. Really, I really enjoyed that one. So, might come back to more of this person's in the future. But, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and see y'all next time. Bye.